You know, the runway was when I came alive. Mm -hmm. It was literally from walking into the workroom for the first time, I was like, <laughs> yeah, I, I deserve to be here. Yeah. Like, look at all of this. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. I am Joey Nolfi with Entertainment Weekly, chatting today with the cast of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 8. And don't adjust the settings on your screen. That glow you're seeing is to be expected because joining me now is a glitzy Vegas showgirl. That's that's right, we have Miss Kahana Montrese <laughs> here today. Thank you for joining me. How are Hi, you? I'm lovely. How are you? You absolutely are lovely. <laughs> I must say that I'm feeling very good now that I'm in your presence. I mean, look at this. Oh. This is just stunning. I mean, oh, the mug, the something. earrings, the dress. Yeah, oh, this old thing just pulled it out. <laughs> the closet for this. <laughs> well, you know, I am a show girl, so you know, I got Very a little true. shine. Very and true. It just helps that the glow comes with that. You yeah, know what I it mean? really does. It really does. It really, really does. <laughs> and it is very lovely to see you back in the competition. I'm excited to see how you do on the season. And you've been a longtime Vegas show girl. And since we saw you last, your talents, of course, led you to starring in the Drag Race Live yes. Vegas show, which is a very big yes. deal. Um, so congrats on being Thank a leading so lady much. there. Um, how has that been for you so far? What's you it know, like working on the show? <sighs> that show has literally changed everything for me. First Drag Race, of course, mm -hmm. but it was Drag Race Live that I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna push myself even when people don't necessarily know who I am yet. I'm gonna show them why I deserve to be here. And mm -hmm. every day just felt like growth and more growth and more growth. So being in a star-studded cast with Naomi Smalls, mm -hmm. you got Vanjie, mm -hmm. Silky now, mm -hmm. Kennedy, Latrice, it just like that energy rubs off on you. Mm -hmm. And I truly believe that's why I was ready to go back to Drag Race because working with those professionals, all of that, like it just inspired me just to want more for myself and to show everyone how much I have grown. Mm -hmm. So. And what were the biggest ways you think that you've grown since your original season? You know, the main thing is like, honestly, just being myself. Yeah. On my season, I was so nervous about how it would come off, mainly to my family because I'm a pastor's kid. So I didn't want my dad to be like, oh, look how bad that thing is. You know what I mean? And I was just like so nervous because I didn't want to disappoint him. But this time I was like, no, I have to do this for me. For you. And mm -hmm. not only do I deserve that, but everyone who like looks up to me, they deserve to see me being my authentic self yes. and living my joy and truth. So mm -hmm. that was the main reason why I wanted to come back. More than the crown, more than anything, I, I do want that crown. Of course you and do. And that money. It would look very good on this in this look right now. But, uh. but the main reason is obviously just being able to look back and being proud of what I presented mm -hmm. because I was being myself. Yes. And I think you guys are gonna get that for sure, honey. Good, good. good. I wanna think, baby, I know, I was cutting up. Mm. Being just a good keep, you know, the girls, it helps. You got Candy Muse. Oh my gosh, yes. You got La La Ree, yes. you got Jimbo, big personalities. You know, I just felt really at ease with the girls. Mm -hmm. Like, it was so easy to just banter, I think this is going to be a key of a season. Mm -hmm. What is it like being in the same room as, the, I mean, at Heidi too. Uh -huh. say, Heidi in that mix of people yeah. with all those big personalities. What is it like settling into that dynamic? Well, let me tell you, I did do like one of the loudest seasons, season 11. That's very true. So for me, it was like, <laughs> oh, this is a cakewalk compared to like that. But the girls were, I don't know, this time around, I think it's because when you come back for All Stars, you really do appreciate the girls that you work with yeah. because it's like, just to share this experience, it's like, we look at each other like, no, this is hard. Mm -hmm. So for you to be in the same field doing the thing, I admire it. And being there was just so easy because they all deserve to be there because they're professional. Yeah. So being around the room with them, it was such a good key. Yeah, I think you guys are gonna live. <laughs> I think that going in with that mindset, being more confident, mm -hmm. did that make the competition easier or did you think it made it harder because you're like living in your truth and your individuality now? You know, it definitely helped that I knew who I was. Mm -hmm. But the thing about Drag Race is it's gonna push you to your limit. So there was still a lot of like things that I was like, oh, oh my God, I do have to do this. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Get out of this and let's, let's go for it. Mm -hmm. So. I was definitely excited about all of that because I, I had this idea of what I wanted to do and all of that got shaken yeah. as soon as yeah. I got there. In a good way though. Yeah, the push was definitely everything. <laughs> Were you um, apprehensive about maybe some acting challenges this time oh around? My God. <laughs> no, I was nervous about a little bit of everything yeah. because, you know, I was second out in my season. And um, being that said, I did go home on an acting challenge. You did. And you did. I did, there was a lot of things that I didn't really get to experience. So. This was like 
the first time for me, really. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the acting challenges, I definitely was like, um, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully my beauty shines through. <laughs> and they see that I'm trying, honey. Yeah, I actually really surprised myself with yeah. how I did. Mm -hmm. so. Well, season 11, it was such a great season. I mean, it was so entertaining. I, I always like to know if any if queens like kept certain mementos from their season, or like, do you have something that is special to you? Ooh, I wouldn't say that is special, <laughs> but oh Miss Hey, honey! No. What was I thinking? No now, the infamous Party City Shake and Go, yes. honey. This is what you do not bring to Drag Race. Pay attention. Season 15, 16, and beyond. <laughs> we just at home. I love that you're just using it like Whitney Houston used yeah, the Yeah, you know, the sweat, it's right? a duster now, now these days. Yes. Whenever I really need to clean the good <laughs> I just bring her out. I love and that you still have that. So you haven't worn it since? Hell no. <laughs> you have Would nightmares you wear about it? that way. I'd wear it. Yeah. Let's put it on. Oh, you know what? I, I need <laughs> to see you in this. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Okay. I, which way is the front? You know what? Does it matter? I don't even know. Does it matter? I, yeah, I think you could just there. run away. Oh, oh. It's kind of giving. It's giving? Uh, it's not giving eliminated. Remember, I went home that episode wearing it, so. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm the best person to ask. <gasps> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I have any in my hair? No, you're perfect. I'm good. Okay. That yeah, was fun. Good. No, that was great. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> <laughs> really yes. was it really was a treat. That really was a treat. I want to talk a little bit more about the Vegas show, too. What okay. Did, I mean, I, with so many girls on that show, mm -hmm. I mean, you have to have some great behind the scenes stories from yeah. what's like the craziest thing that's happened behind the scenes. Ooh, oh, that's PG? Oh, Lord. You can be. You can be TV MA, you could be NC-17, do whatever you want. Um, some of the craziest behind the scenes, I mean, there's always like something going on, literally from us doing each other's hair last minute, like literally running on stage as soon as the show starts. I don't know, the craziest was working with Fangie, like in a fun way. Oh. Every night was like a part. Mm -hmm. Oh, I bet. Hey, honey. Oh, I bet. Between, you know, us smacking the pit crew <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you know, just completely socking everyone. So mm -hmm. it was rowdy. Yeah. Rowdy time. It sounds like a good time. And now you were also, is understudy the right word for Evie? Um, is that like the right word? Or fill in. I was her Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. So you, like, what kind of relationship do you guys have? And it must have been really great to see her represent on All Star 7. You know, let me tell you. Okay. So me and Evie go back. Yeah. I actually known Evie when I used to live in Denver. Mm -hmm. um, she's from Denver. Yeah. And it was crazy. When I was leaving the scene, she was just starting. Mm -hmm. So. I literally saw her come in it and everybody was like, who is this crazy cuckoo? doing all these tricks. And I was living, because at that time, I was the only one really flipping and doing all these like aerials of my shows. Mm -hmm. And she came and flipped the scene because it was something completely different. So she had always inspired me because I saw how much she loved what she did. Yeah. And it you could feel it in the audience, you know? So when I was leaving, I was just like, that girl's gonna be something. Mm -hmm. And then to walk into Drag Race together, I was like, oh. yeah. You I'm gonna go ahead and pack, it. cause she went in. I already knew. I was like, this girl is so talented. And then to have a full circle moment where, you know, she used to tell me, oh my God, it, you know, I looked up to you in Denver. And then to be her villain and live, I was like, oh, well, guess you beat me, girl. <laughs> no, but she always like uplifted me, even like when we were going through season 11 and I was really down with my placement and stuff. She always like reassured me of my talents and how sickening my drag was. and. I just feel like when you have really good people like that in your life, you keep them. Yeah. And she's one of those girls for me. She's family. Yeah. What did did you reach out to her for any advice before All Stars? You know, oh my gosh, I was like kind of nervous, but um, I saw her right before she went, and she always before just always like reassuring and just like do you, mm -hmm. you know, make sure that this time around you give us behind the scenes just like you do in the dressing room. Do all of that there and you're gonna have a good time. And she was right. Yeah. She was right. What about uh, Miss Coco Montrese, your oh drag mother? Cause she's yes. done All Stars before. Yes. So what kinds of things did she tell you to like do and what not to do on All Stars? You know, she actually was like, kind of hands off on this one. And for good reasons, because like the first time around, she definitely saw that I was in my head and stuff, but yeah. she wanted to make sure this time around, that it was me. And we had already talked about, obviously, like the mistakes that I made going into it. So she knew this time around, I was ready. So if anything, she was just more like, I, I know you got this. Just be you, girl. You know, and to me, that was more than anything. Yeah. So just to have like, you know, my drag mom 
believe in me and see that I was ready. Because the first time around, she was like, oh, girl, I don't know if you should I don't think, oh, oh girl, it, you know, it's a little busted. <laughs> but she was always real with me. You know, I'm like, no, no, I gotta make it, I gotta make it, I gotta Sometimes make it. Sometimes that advice is the best advice because yeah. it gets you to see things, whereas you don't want people just blowing smoke up your Right. Like, no, no, Coco will never do that to me. She will always tell me, um, it's not right yeah. tonight. And that can be very helpful. And um, did she ever try to burn that wig? She actually <laughs> tried to steal it from me. And I what? thought it's because she wanted it, she but she was trying to protect me <laughs> from looking a fool on TV. And I'm so sorry, mama. I should have listened to your advice, she girl. To... I should have listened to you, girl. But no, you know, I was a rebel. So I'm like, oh, she want my wig. I know the judges are gonna live, honey. Now I have been hearing from a lot of the other queens this season Ooh, that already. you are the queen who everybody's going to be most surprised by with the glow up. They uh -huh. are, ta they've been talking you up. Every single one is saying that it's the Kahana Montree show on the runway. Uh, so what I let you... them have it. Yes, I, I bet you did, I bet you did. That. So what can you tease about what we can expect from you on the runway and on the show? You know, the runway was when I came alive. Mm -hmm. It was literally from walking into the workroom for the first time, I was like, <laughs> yeah, I, I deserve to be here. Yeah. Like, look at all of this. And it wasn't just that, it was, I finally felt like it was my time. On 11, I didn't feel that way. I felt like it was way too early, but this was the perfect moment for me. And when I got on the runway and saw all the judges, it was literally like all of my troubles had vanished. And I was walking in my destiny, honey. That's quite a turn from yes. uh, what, back on season 11 and approaching in an All-Star State. I love that, mm -hmm. that journey. What about Untucked? How are you in Untucked this mm. season? You know, she um <laughs> she was a little fool. Them House of Love cocktails got me right together. Yes. And um I was definitely feeling it. Mm. So you're gonna see me all over the place. Great. It's in the camera. <laughs> Maybe some tape flying all over the place. It was wild. Maybe you'll have a silky moment this season. Oh, I was, I'm, <laughs> I was <laughs> ready. Oh, it's gonna be very bad. Okay. Very right. bad. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be like Vegas, the essence of Vegas without a little drama because Vegas drama is like next level drama. No, Vegas drama is literally better than any housewife franchise ever. I keep saying like, we need a real housewives of Las Vegas and like well, you know Derek they, Berry you on You know the they season. used to film Drag Race Live. Y'all need to get back on season it because two, I'm yes. telling you, season two would yes. be Everything. Really the Everything. girls carry. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Yes. I would. Can you imagine that? I mean, that would just be. It, it, it would essentially just be the Real Housewives of Las Vegas. Let's just come on. I mean, it would be backstage. the Real Housewives of Kahana Trees featuring yes. the girls. Featuring of Las Vegas. the rest. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, y'all gonna get me, girl? They're gonna <laughs> let me have it. A lot. How cutthroat does the Vegas scene actually get? Is it just like? Is the drama more fun, or do you think it's, it's like? It's actually, actually that. That's the tea. Is mm -hmm. when I think of the drama, it reminds me just of the old school drag scene, like when we just threw shade for fun. Yeah. And a lot of people I feel like are so sensitive now that they they can't understand that. That's okay, but that's just how we work. That's like how we joke. Yeah. It's all love though. Like everyone there has been supportive of me from day one. Derek Barry, I met him almost 10 years ago and literally was like one of the first people to like really support me and just yeah. like, girl, you're gonna be a star. And to work with her now, girl, it, it just is like, ooh. I remember when I was like looking up to you. It's it's very it's very fun, like banter. Not girl, I'm coming for you. I'm a Kiel car. Right. You know what right. I mean? Ain't right. nothing like that. We need Derek on another season of. We do. I I feel One like episode. I feel like she honestly was so robbed. No tea <laughs> because Miss Thing yes. carries and she has yes. good drag. Mm -hmm. I really think had we like I'm not gonna say we had she had a little bit more time. The world would have really been shocked that she does have versatility. Because mm -hmm. in live, she shows so much of herself. She does. You cannot say yourself. Okay. Who do you think is going to surprise everybody most in terms of their glow up on All Stars 8? Monica's a good one. Yeah. Right out the gate, uh -huh. we were like, this is the only woman mm -hmm. living her truth. Yeah. And for me, looking up to her on season five, like when she came out, I was just like, oh my God, like, how brave. To see her finally like living that version of her life that she's always wanted to was so magical in person. Mm -hmm. It was just like, well, yes ma'am. And you could just feel like how much fun she was having just being herself. Yeah. For cool. me, that was like the biggest mm -hmm. one. It's quite a difference because in talking to her too and what she was going through back on season five, and the change she's gone through and now approaching the competition from that assured perspective, it's like, I think we were just using the word liberating for her. Yes. It's like, and it, yes. You can, so you can feel and that. And everybody too. on set could feel it. Yeah. It was like literally just contagious. Like, oh, yes, honey. And then you picked it up. Oh, yes. <laughs> it was just like, yeah, because she was just being a good time and just like, 
finally comfortable in her skin. That does rub off on people. Like people love to see you living your truth. Yeah. So then outside of just in general on the runway, okay. who do you think is gonna surprise people else with the glow up? Ooh, ooh, there was a lot of looks. So this is the hard one. But who consistently turned it for me? Well, we know Kahana's number one. <laughs> <laughs> know it, baby. <laughs> so number two, the runner ups. No, um, honestly, Alexis Michelle. Oh, really? Yeah. Worthy, honey. When I say was everything. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, my language, honey. Sorry. That's okay. Um, no, miss, but that's how much I was gagging. I was just like, oh, Lord. Every runway, I was just thoroughly impressed. Great. Mama was turning it. Oh, I love that. No, I, I really, because I know that she um, felt very strongly about her, uh, you know, initial run and really wanted, felt like she had a oh, lot to prove. If this anybody time got like that redemption, it's Alexis. definitely going to be her. Oh, great. She slays. Very happy to hear that. So just in general, um, how do you think All Stars 8 is going to gag the kids? Like twists, turns, what's coming? I think what people probably think is gonna happen is gonna shock them when they actually see it because there's a lot of girls who are coming to prove something and they get to. And that alone, people are gonna be like, oh, I didn't know Miss Things turns it. Or little Miss Kahana, who knew that she could bring it? You know, and so I think that in itself, people are gonna be gagging over just girls that they haven't even seen before. I mean, it's a, there is a power to that in having queens that n didn't necessarily get to show off the full breadth of their artistry. Yes. I mean, a lot of queens that went home early. I mean, James went home first, Miss mm -hmm. Kahana Montrese, Mrs. Kasha Davis didn't go very far, but it's like, I think it's your careers after the show and are also And everyone you just mentioned. Hearns it. Yeah. Hearns it. But you know, there's some drama too, and that's mm -hmm. gonna keep you entertained and oh, 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 they let each other have it. It's gonna be very bad. We would have it no other way. I can't think of a better way to tease the season. Thank you so much, <laughs> Kahana. This no, was really thank fun. you. I had a good old time. Great. Thank you so much, and uh, stay tuned for more with the cast of All Stars 8.